Hello and welcome to another quick terrain tutorial. In this terrain tutorial, I'm going to show you the Credit Bureau section in the Dispute Manager screen. The Credit Bureau section is where you can add your dispute letters that's going out directly to the Credit Bureaus only. To go there, from the dashboard, just go to the Dispute Manager and from the drop down, just click on Dispute Manager. Once you click that, you'll get routed to the whole Dispute Manager screen. Now, before you go to the credit bureaus, creditors, collectors, and the response section, which are the four areas where you can generate dispute letters from, you have to go to add item section first. Right here. And then make sure that the items or the accounts are being added for a dispute. You can watch the add item training video from here to know more about how you can manually input your customer's negative items or you can always import a credit report by clicking this icon. Once the negative items are already added on this section, next is to make sure that they are in, in dispute status. And in order for you to do that, you just have to check the tick boxes and then click on dispute and the status will be changed to in dispute. This is very important because if they are not yet in dispute, the items will not reflect in the credit bureau, creditors, collectors, and on the response section. Now, since we have some accounts right here that are in uh, dispute status already, let's go to credit bureau section. Once you're on the screen, we have training videos at the top that you can watch in case you get lost into navigation. Then this is where you can create your letters or a dispute letter. Under the furniture, this is where you would see the accounts that you've added. You can see the account number, the account type, the balance if there's any. You would also see the date when it was added into software. And you would also see which credit bureau this specific account is showing. Then after that, we have the round right here. Now, what is a round? Round is every time you send a dispute letter that is called round. So if you're sending this first dispute letter, it will be round one. Then after 30 days, you can now send your second round of dispute, which is round two. Then after 30 days, round three. So let's just use round one for now. Then we also have set. This allows you to keep track which account you have included in a set. This works well if there's a lot of negative items on the client's credit report. Um, let's say for example, you have 10 negative items that you want to dispute in this client's credit report. Then you want to dispute the first five items first. So you can put it on set one. Once you're done sending out your first round of dispute with set one, you can now do the remaining five items and then you can put that on set two. But of course, uh, you can dispute all the items at once. That's totally up to you. After you've chosen the round and the set, let's put it on, let's say set one. Next is to choose your dispute reason. Then you can choose your dispute reason here. So we have general reasons. We also have reasons that are specific for each account type. So we have for bankruptcy, charge off, collections, duplicate accounts, and more right here. Let's say for example, we'll use the reasons that is specific for the account type. So let's go to charge off. Then let's use this. Now, if you want a personalized reason, you could actually create your own as well by clicking the custom reason and the software would allow you to manually type it in. Like that as an example. For now, let's just use the default one, which is I don't remember having a charge off. After choosing your reason, next is to choose your dispute letter. We have dispute flow letter. 
campaign letter, general letter, and manual letter. We call this dispute strategies. The dispute flow letter is an expected order that the credit bureau may respond based on what you have sent. This is in reference to six months. So we have initial dispute up until the legal option is explored. Then we have the campaign letters. Campaign letters are more tailored to the account type and still have an expected order that they would reply, which is six months. Then we have a general letter. This is where you can create a personal information dispute. Then we have the manual letter. This is the letters that you have created in the software. Now let's just use the dispute flow letter and then go for initial dispute. If you want to check the contents of this letter, what you just need to do is just click on the preview dispute flow letter and it would give you the contents of that letter. If you want to edit it, you can click on edit and make changes from here if you want to add or remove something and then just hit on save once done. Same goes with the campaign letter, you could also preview it, general letter and also the manual letter. Then we have here the dispute reason tracker. This allows you to keep track of any reasons you have used in the past. So you can check the reasons that you've used in the credit bureau section, creditors, collectors, respond, and you could also view all if you want to check all the reasons. Now, before we add or click on add your dispute, we also have some other icons available on the screen like the credit report problem analyzer. If you click this, the analyzer report that you did for this client will pop up. This allows you to uh, review first before you do your disputes. And there are some other icons right here that you can uh, check out. What you just need to do is click on the question mark icon or the tooltip to know more about what does this specific icon do. So like this view credit report, the dispute guide, and a smart interviewer. Now let's go on add your dispute. Let's click on add your dispute. There you go. So as you can see, the letter is now showing up right here in the grid. So you would see the furniture, the account number, the credit bureau, the reason, and the letter that was used. Then if you want to add another item, just choose it from the furniture. So we'll just click right here and then choose a different reason if it's a different reason or a different account type. So right now we're doing a collection. So we can go for collection and then choose a reason from here. Or you could create your own reason by clicking the custom reason. Now after that, you can simply just click on add your dispute. But before I do that, I want to show you that the letters are now completely blocked off. So as you can see, the dispute flow letter, the campaign letter, and general letters are blocked off. Because once you have selected a letter, you are basically telling the software that you're going to be using this letter for these two accounts. If in any case you want to choose a different uh, letter per account, you have to send to print the letter that is already showing in the grid for you to create a new one. Now for this one, let's add it on dispute. There we go. Then right here, just check the tick box. You can select all or you can select it one by one. And then just click on send to print. And this will now be moved to bulk print. So let's go to bulk print. Bulk print is where you can print out all the letters that you have generated or created in the dispute manager screen. Now from here you can preview the letter by clicking this green eye icon. You can preview the documents that are uploaded in the software by clicking this other eye icon right here. So you can see the ID, the socials and the address. You can make some changes. If you want to make some final changes, you can click on edit. You could also delete it if you want to delete this specific letter. Now, if you want to attach 
some documents like the ID, the socials, and the prefix address. What you just need to do is just check the tick box. And then once you hit on print, there we go. You would see their preview of the letter and the documents attached. Now, once you're ready to print, just click on print and this letter will now be moved to the archive section. So that would complete our quick train tutorial on how you can use and navigate through the credit bureau section in the dispute manager screen.